Hello YouTube and YouTube subscribers. Today we're going to be doing a species profile on the Golite Tetra, which is Hemigrammus, uh, and I don't know how to pronounce the uh, species name, so I'll just not going to bother butchering it. Now to important information, the Golite Tetra grows to 1.6 inches. Uh, this book says 2, but I don't uh, think that's accurate because uh, most of your sources that I've looked at and to uh, through my own personal observation, the 1.6 inch maximum size is probably much more credible in this book's too. Um, now in terms of water parameters, this fish prefers pHs of 5.5 to 7.5, uh, hardness of 5 to 15 H, and uh, water temperature 24 degrees Celsius to uh, 28 degrees Celsius. I'm not sure what that is in Fahrenheit though, since I'm Canadian. So, um, Golite Tetra is probably one of the better star tetras out there in the hobby. In my opinion, it's a much better star tetra than the uh, Neon, as uh, it's a bit more flexible in its water parameters and it's more adaptable. And also, uh, they're less disease prone than Neons, from my own personal experiences. Um, I don't really think these guys have any real negatives to them, actually. Uh, this is one that's really good for rookies and for uh, veterans just because they're pretty attractive looking and they're very peaceful and they mix well with other fish like most of the other peaceful tetras. And uh, this being a social fish you want to keep them in groups of about six or so. The more the better, which is always to say with tetras the more of them you have the better they are at displaying that or you mix them in with other types of tetras but you have to keep them with their own species and if you mix them with more tetras species they can actually uh, co-shoal with them. To create uh, larger super shoals, which look kind of interesting actually, if you manage to pull that off. Um, the glow like tetra in the wild, it's made, it says here it's omnivorous, and according to my research, it is omnivorous and it does uh, feed mainly on uh, aquatic invertebrates with some plant matter mixed in. And um, now, uh, when it comes to uh, housing, these guys are 1.6 inches, you can probably keep them in just your standard 10 gallon tank. If you're going to use a 10 gallon tank, I'd recommend having these guys in the central uh, shoaling fish. Group of six of them, 10 gallon tank, add in another somewhat larger two to three inch fish to supplement them. Plus maybe some bottom dwellers, you'll have a nice display that you can set up for pretty good uh, amount of money. Just because these guys are generally pretty cheap and generally widely available. Uh, I haven't kept these guys in probably about, I don't know, 14 years or so. But that's just because my uh, preference in fish changed. Now, um, since there isn't really much to talk about just because of how easy this fish is, I'm going to keep the species profile nice and short. So uh, thanks for watching, please rate, comment, subscribe, and I do highly recommend the Glow Light Petro.